the seven phases that I'd heard about, I did. I don't think I went through any of them. And if I did, I don't remember any of it because I didn't go through anger or denial or anything. I wasn't sad and I wasn't mad, just questioning why me and how did that happen. Hi, I'm Brian Parkinson. I farm about 1,300 acres of corn and soybeans. It's been a family activity for at least four or five generations. I do a few other things though that normal farmers don't do. One of my things to do is sail. And then just for kicks, I decided to climb some mountains. A few years ago, more than a few now, it's probably more like seven or eight, I've honestly lost track. It was a difficult harvest season on the farm. It was cold and wet and I got a cold. Thanksgiving rolled around and it was a, a cold that just wouldn't go away. I went to a doc in the box. They sent me in to have x-rays and I was pronounced to have pneumonia. Multiple z packs later, I felt pretty good. I thought, I feel so good, I'm gonna go in to my brother's doctor and have a checkup, just because I haven't done it for years. So I went into my brother's doctor, gave another blood sample, everything's done, except the next morning the phone rang. You have a problem, I have an appointment made for you with Dr. So-and-so, he's an oncologist. And that made my morning. The doctor told me that I had leukemia, he didn't know exactly what kind. After I was diagnosed, I had some decisions to make. I decided on Northwestern because they were a leading research hospital, and of course they had a top staff. After receiving a battery of tests at Northwestern, they tested my blood probably 20 different ways, at least maybe 200 different ways, and some other different things that they tested for. They were able to narrow down my malady to CLL, and then they were able to decide on a chemo treatment chemo treatment was over a period of six months. The effect was immediate. Dr. Rosen was very happy because the number of whatever it was he was counting decreased significantly so that by the end of my treatment after six months it was effectively difficult to detect. With CLL and maybe other types of leukemia it's never totally gone. When you have it you're not cured. Uh, I had opted not to do a bone marrow transplant with all the maybe complications it has and they deemed it wasn't necessary for me. So uh, I felt very confident though, being a confident kind of guy, that I was set for life, that I would never have to go back in again. And boy was I surprised four years later when they saw my numbers creeping up again. Dr. Rosen, he said, well in the meantime we've come up with a couple different options for people like you and there happens to be a clinical trial that you can have the last chair and I was faced with that choice of getting on board for that clinical trial for uh, what was it called at the time, ABT-199. So I had to choose between going to climbing Mount Denali in Alaska that summer, because I'd been training for it, or I could stay home and take this treatment. And so I opted to stay home and take the treatment for the next six months. The way Dr. Rosen described it, he was 100% right, that it would help me prolong my quality of life. There's just no thought about it. If I was going to be able to be part of a clinical trial, I wanted it in. The clinical trial entails a follow-up every quarter. So I come into Northwestern every quarter, they do some blood tests. Most oftentimes I take a CT scan and they tell me I'm doing great and keep up the good work. So I don't have a complaint about anything. I'm doing really, really well. The importance of funding cancer research is like immeasurable to me. It would be immeasurable to my daughters if they had breast cancer. It's gonna to touch everybody's life sooner or later. And you don't wanna be in the position where you say, well, I didn't approve funding for that. And boy, I wish I would have now. Mm -hmm.